Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And good day to all my student Okay So uh, This uh, video is cover for the Topic number 5 uh, Torsion of circular shaft For the example number 3 and Number 4 Okay So for the example number 3 Okay for the example number 3 You can refer into the textbooks uh example number 5.9 okay example number 3 uh the solid the solid steel shaft shown in figure below figure below has a diameter of 20 mm okay it is subjected to the two top determine the reaction at the fixed support a and b Okay, so uh, example number three uh, give that the diameter of solid uh, steel shaft is 20 mm, and then the question asks you to, to determine the reaction at the fixed support A and B. Okay, so what need you to do? Okay, so what need you to do is first uh, for the equilibrium. Okay. So it is seen that the problem is statically indeterminate since there is only one available equation of the equilibrium and there are two unknown which is TB and TA. Okay, so you need to find the summation of mx equals to 0. And then you can get the equation for mx is negative tb plus 800 minus 500 minus ta equals to 0. This one is equation number 1. Okay, and then for the comp compatibility, since the end of the shaft are fixed, the angle of twist of one end of the shaft with respect to the other must be zero okay so and then theta a stroke b equals to zero okay so okay so for the load displacement okay you can use the uh, sun convention established and then you can get the uh, equation is negative t b times 0.2 divided by JG plus 800 minus TB times 1.5 divided by JG plus 300 minus TB times 0.3 divided by JG and then equals to 0 and then you, you can simplify uh, this equation and then you can get the TB the value of T top at B is 645 Newton meter okay and then you can substitute this torque at b uh, into the equation number one and then you can get the torque at a is negative 345 newton meter okay you can see that the negative sign here here this uh, negative signs indicate that the uh, that act in the opposite direction of uh, that shown in figure uh, 5.21b okay okay for the example num for the example number 4 okay you can refer into the textbooks example 5.10 okay so you can see the uh, the question is the shaft shown in figure below 5.22a is made from the steel tube okay which is bonded to a brass core if the torque of t equals to 250 newton meter is applied at the at the end at a plot the shear stress distribution along the radial line of its cross sectional area take g for the steel is 8 uh, 80 kilo uh, 8 80 gigapascal and then G for the breast is 
uh, uh, sorry 36 GPa so what you need to do is first you need to find the equilibrium okay so the reaction at the wall has been represented by the unknown amount of thought resist by the steel thought st and by the brass thought br okay and then you can use the equilibrium equation summation of mx equal to zero and then you can get the moment equation is negative uh, negative T ST plus 25 uh, 250 uh, negative uh, minus TBR equals to 0 and then you can get the this one is as equation number 1 okay this one equation number 1 and then second is you need to find the compatibility okay so since the angle of twist of NA to be the same for both uh, the steel and brass since they are bonded together so that you can see theta equals to theta st equals to theta br okay so equal, equal uh, so same um, angle okay. so that you can find the load uh, displacement using the sign convention established which is tst timing l divide by pi over 2 times 0 0.02 minus 0 0.01 to power of 4 times 80 times 10 to power of 9 okay equals to tbr uh, times l divide by pi over 2 times 0 0.01 to power of 4 times 36 times 10 to the power of 9 and then you can uh, simplify this equation okay this equation and then you can get the second equation is TST equals to 33.33 TBR and then you can simplify uh, you can substitute uh, equation number 2 into the equation number one, uh, number 1 okay and then you can get the value of TST thought uh, for steel is 242.72 newton meter and then torque for br brass uh, equals to 7.282 newton meter okay so you get you get the uh, thought steel and top uh, for the uh, brass and then you can find the shear stress in the brass core varies from zero at its center to the maximum at the interface where it contact the steel tube okay using the uh, torsion formula okay tau equals to uh, tau br max equals to 7.282 times 10 uh, 0 0.01 divided by pi over 2 ta uh, times 0 0.01 to power of Four, and then you can get the tau br equals to uh, 4.636 uh, 10 to the power of 6 newton per meter square or you can get 4.64 uh, megapascal and then for the steel okay and then for the steel the minimum and maximum shear stress we can find using the uh, torsion formula also or uh, torsion formula okay tau st for the minimum equals to 10 uh, 10.3 megapascal and then for the tau st for the maximum you can get the value is 20.6 megapascal and then you can plot the shear stress uh, distribution like this one this one is for the stress distribution okay okay uh, for the example number three and number four okay thank you so much